Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the comedy musician's perspective. I said comedy music a lot. Anyway, on this show, this week, we are reacting to... Dragon Slayer. Brain went... Pfft. We're reacting to Dragon Slayer from NSP's Level Up album. Uh, Ninja Sex Party, of course, that's what NSP stands for. This album came out almost a year ago, it came out October of last year, and we suddenly have a new music video for it, which is interesting. Uh, it's an animated video by uh, Dalton Brown, aka Smash Tunes, uh, who has animated for them before, both on uh, Game Grumps, with Game Grumps animated, and also did their music video for It's Bedtime from The Prophecy, their album previous. But when they announced this album, they sold these shirts. These are Dragon Slayer shirts. Songs about the... or shirts uh, that kind of seem to reference the song Dragon Slayer. And so we thought the first single from the album was going to be Dragon Slayer, because the shirts came out at the same time when the album was announced. And instead, it was a remake of 6969, which was... Uh, not claymation animated, but stop motion clay animated, because claymation is actually a technically different thing. A copyrighted name and all that. Uh, but that was a great video. They also did Dinosaur Laser Fight uh, from the Level Up album, did a video for that. And now, almost a year later, we're actually getting a Dragon Slayer video. Not only that, we're actually getting new Dragon Slayer merch too, so all sorts of Lots of stuff tied in with Dragon Slayer, so that's neat. So, we're gonna watch that now. Uh, by the way, if you like these videos, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all the things that feed the algorithm to help get more eyeballs on these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music early, and all sorts of other cool things like that there. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, I do pause the video to talk about it and discuss it, because I am reacting from the perspective of somebody who does this. Uh, although sometimes, while that may be describing jokes and, and talking about the intricacies of that and how the, the video may elevate the jokes and the lyrics, sometimes that also means just enjoying the song, because I like comedy and comedy music. It's a crapshoot, whichever one you're going to get, but I think it's a good dime, regardless. Uh, Good dime, regardless. All of my consonants are confused today. I'm sorry. It's fun. Um, yeah. All right. Enough blabbing. Let's dive in to Dragon Slayer, the new version, the level up version, by Ninja Sex Party. I, I, even before it starts, I'm pausing. I know. I'm sorry. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, I just love the way. Uh, Dalton draws uh, them. They're just, they're just adorable. Just the, every person is just really expressive and, and just the way that that like Danny's hair is enormous and just like, there's just something very pleasant about the way all the characters are drawn. Just really enjoy that and wanted to say it. <laughs> Why, hello there. You're a very attractive young lady. I'd like to ask you out of the hottest of dates. <laughs> I see that you have a lot of other gentlemen suitors. All the gentlemen suitors, very, very strong chins, and Ninja Brian, very angry as always. Uh, and that's that. They did a live action video for this when the first song first came out before this this re recording for the Level Up album. Level Up is basically a greatest hits album, just re recorded songs from the first three albums before they had Twerp T W R B as T W R P bleh, as their backing band. Don't know what's wrong with my consonants today. That's fun. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, it's good to see that the suitors have returned. Allow me to make my case. This guy football. On Ninja Brian's back, not just by himself. I love the the card of football coming through there. That's that's very funny. It's instead of just the guy in the football outfit holding a football. Let's also put the text of football in case he missed it. That's so good. Uh, over explaining things is funny to me sometimes. As a guy who explains jokes on a show, whatever, it's fine. This guy is <laughs> 
<laughs> that was much better illustrated in this. In the previous video, it's a lot of green screen and stuff. It's very entertaining, but uh, it's good. I like it. <laughs> Danny Sexbang, MD, cures all of the diseases. All him. <laughs> and it's like taped in the newspaper. <laughs> That's so good. I loved like the the painting of Danny fighting the dragon, and then he jumps through it, and it turns out Ninja Brian was holding it up so that he could jump through it. <laughs> it's little details like that that I that I love. It's it's. Again, it's what I talk about on this show all the time. It's it's taking the jokes and the lyrics, but elevating them. Yes, it's ridiculous that he fought a dragon, but here's proof of a, of a an oil painting someone has done of it to to commemorate the event. And also, I'm going to dive through it and sing this to you. So good. <laughs> <laughs> so in the original video again I'm 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 ending up comparing this to the original video because that's what we know that's what I know from the song cuz I'm a big fan of the band when he, he sings now I'll expose my chest he tears off his his outfit and they've superimposed pecs like a picture of Peck, so like you can see the corners of it. They superimpose a picture of Peck on him, and that's already hilarious. So in this one, he tears, he tears. I'll now expose my chest, and it cuts to Ninja Brian's Peck. We don't realize it's him until it pulls back, and then you see him pulling up the uh, the Danny Sexbang uh, unitard. Excellent stuff. Holy crap, that's funny. <laughs> 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 the boxes are yes, yes, fuck yes, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> yes, yes, fuck yes, yeah. And then the other ones are yeses. That's... <laughs> no no option for no, of course. Because clearly he sold the deal, but how hard did he? All right. Ryan's a wizard now. That's one of the things with this re-record. Uh, the vocals have been re-recorded as well, not just the music. So, uh, in the original version of the, of the song, Awesome Karate Bears, it usually goes up on that, but in this one, he sings it kind of along the same line, along the same note, uh, uh, which is an interesting change and, uh, you know, saves the vocals from being too stressed out. You've been singing it for years. You, you change the way you do things sometimes, and I always uh, appreciate that. Uh, Dan's hair makes his head look enormous here. Uh, <laughs> but it's also perspective. He's running at the camera, so I'm sure that's exaggerated for that reason. But yeah, Karate Bears kind of remind me of the... Uh, the fighting pandas from the uh, Mansion Party video, done by a different animator, Shuchiru, that time. Um, but uh, still, angry bears fighting, always good, in an animated music video, not for real, obviously. Comedy. The speed lines coming off of them too just looks great. Standing appointment for brunch. So, missed a long standing appointment for brunch in the original video. Again, I have to make the comparison. Uh, it was Ross from Game Grumps, who was also, you know, because Dan is on Game Grumps. Uh, Ross is friends with Dan, and Ross was on Game Grumps, and they did Steam Train together on Grumps. He was the, the, the lunch appointment that Dan missed. So now we've got clearly Ross again, but in animated form, and right next to Ross's table is a table of twerp. 
<laughs> and Ninja Brian, <laughs> F equals U, that's a great shirt, uh, <laughs> over the ninja costume, and they're all looking sad and dejected too. So it's not just Ross, it's it's four, five other people, including Ross, or six, now six people, because math. <laughs> Swung my horse like a club. He more pushed him there. Uh, I, I'm glad he didn't, like, grab the horse by the legs and swing it like a club, because that's animal abuse, and that's not wrong. You shouldn't do that. But visually, it would have been funny. It's animated. It's not a real animal. It's fine. <laughs> a dragon nutcracker. You are now in love with both my dragon slaying nuts is the lyric, and he puts him in a in a dragon nutcracker, but it can't crack the nuts, it cracks the head off the dragon, because his dragon slaying nuts are too powerful. They've slain the dragon, hence the name. So good. There's the band. Perfect. Again, we're it's it's hard to not make the comparison. This stands on its own as a video, but but fans of this are going to compare this to the original video, the original live action video. And in that original live action video, Aaron from Game Grumps, Dan and Aaron host Game Grumps, Aaron was the person in the dragon costume, and the payoff to why is later in the lyrics, but the fact that they've now animated Aaron in the costume again. So good. I know a lot of people uh, felt that the animated, the the stop motion animated music video for 6969 felt a little disappointing because it deviated so differently from the original video. Uh, in the original video, uh, Michael Starr did the vocals of the the head Dick Elder. But in the video, it's Aaron playing the character with Michael Starr's vocals coming out of him. In the animated one, it's just a robot form. And people thought that was too far of a deviation. But I, I think both of them work. I think, I think, especially in this case where it's a band covering their previous song and, and making a new version, it's paying respect to that previous version that everybody knows and loves and also creating its own thing. 6969 creates its own thing. Uh, it's still telling the story of the song the same way the original video did, but it's doing it in a new way, not in just in the animation and the way that it's shot and presented, but some of the story beats are different. It's telling different jokes in its uh, visuals. This is doing the same thing. This is telling different jokes in its visuals, but they're still helping amplify the jokes that are in the lyrics. That is that is what makes a good music video for a comedy song. Is, you know, you're you got two different ways of telling the same song basically, of expressing the same points of that song, but you're you know doing it because there are different jokes to be made there. Um, and this one pulling from the same source and doing some of the same jokes isn't wrong because they're still funny. It's just presented in a new way and, you know, there's a lot of arguments to be made about, you know, uh, the form of humor that, that uh, Family Guy does where it's just like reaction humor. You're just like, I remember that, therefore it's funny. Not always the case. Um, but the way that it's presented, especially here, like this one, in this video, like, it gives you, like, this big, giant silhouette of a dragon, and you see it from the back, and you see its its wings and its, its head, and you think it's going to be large and impressive, and it pulls back, and it's a dude in a suit. They don't quite present it that way in the original live-action video, but the visuals here help amplify the same joke that they made before. And I think both ways, either doing new jokes or kind of doing the old jokes but in a new way, are both equally valid and both work exceptionally well when re-recording and re-releasing a song that is beloved and already known. Man, I'm long-winded today. Whatever, it's fun. Anyway. <laughs>
just diving off a cliff. Oh, he lost his staff. But he's got a Pegasus. A unicorn. Bravo, Dalton. These are excellent visuals. Uh, 90... 100 million, 50,000, 100 feet in the air. Uh, that's the elevation right there on the giant mountain. Uh, excellent attention to detail there, too. So good. <laughs> Was six dollar bills? <laughs> Was there three of them? That would have made sense. Have you seen this ninja? He fucking rocks. <laughs> that poster of Ninja Bride in the background. And it's Attitude, Attitude City Bus Tours. Attitude City is an NSP song. That's so good. Now there's more than, more than three there, but uh, it looks like it's a six dollar bill because it's got a six on it and Danny's Jewish star on it. That's funny. I, I, I love, that's one of my favorite parts of the entire song is, is Aaron lip-syncing this part that Dan is clearly singing. Uh, I'm a dragon, uh, not some guy Dan met at a bus station in a dragon suit. That's just so good. It's so, so funny. Man, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> That was a nice callback touch there, too. So not just the mansion in space, uh, which I, I guess we kind of saw in the background in the original video, but the ship that flies in kind of looks like, although those are more wings rather than testicles, uh, the ship from 6969. So it seemed like some sort of synergy was happening there. At least the colors, because it's Danny's colors from his outfit. <laughs> the stars spell it out. It's so good. <laughs> in the in the crowd uh, that you could only see from back, the back, one of them was Aaron in the dragon costume. Uh, in the the crowd of people in the wedding, it's so good. <laughs> I see you've chosen a football player. I'm a scientist. <laughs> and apparently the weightlifter as well. <laughs> and the dragon. And Ninja Brian. Of course. And the manticore, he wasn't even in this song. <laughs> Just ending on a on a Looney Tunes zoom out of the Manticore flipping two birds. Manticore is another NSP song. Just a, another reference that's in the lyrics. So good. Man, that's funny. Bravo. That is... That is phenomenal. Excellent work, NSP. Excellent work, Dalton. Uh, Dalton Brown, a.k.a. The Smash Tunes. Go uh, show them some love if you want to check out the video without me talking all over it. Of course, link is in the description below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things that you do to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get their name in the end credits here at the end. Uh, get to see these videos early, my music early, whole bunches of other good things and extra stuff in the various tiers. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.